Hi, I'm Ed Escudero, representing the local section of the American Chemical Society for National Chemistry Week. We hope you're going to be able to experiment with a chemist. Welcome back. In this experiment, we're going to be mixing three chemicals. I have them stored in a white bottle, a brown bottle, and a white bottle. And the chemicals themselves, I would describe as clear, colorless liquids. And if I were to try to describe it to somebody who was not here and couldn't see it, the three liquids look exactly like water. Well, I have measured out 10 milliliters of each of the liquids and we find in chemistry reactions don't take place unless the chemicals mix with each other. So I have this round bottom flask that I'm going to mix the chemicals and we'll try and see what happens. We mix the first, we mix the second, nothing appears to happen. We'll mix the third, and all of a sudden, a dark liquid forms, and I'm just going to shake the flask with this dark liquid, and we can see what happens as we mix. The most important part of this experiment, the glass container that one does the reaction has got to be very, very, very clean. There's a brownish haze that may be visible that's appearing on the glass. As we keep shaking, it appears as if I now have a silver mirror that has formed on the inside of the flask, and it is actually pure silver that has been formed. I can tell that even with all my cleaning, this flask was not completely clean. Otherwise, the mirror would be completely uniform. But there is the silver mirror. I can see myself in it. If we go back to the chemicals, the chemical that was stored in the brown bottle, I had asked at one of the science shows why one was brown and the other two were, were uh, white translucent bottles. One young man thought I had run out of the white bottles, which to me was a very good possible guess. And then somebody else mentioned probably the chemical that was in this bottle, the brown bottle, did not or reacted with light. So I was keeping it with light. So I didn't create silver out of pure water. The first solution actually was a solution of sugar and alcohol. The one in the brown bottle actually had silver nitrate, so I had a silver compound. And the third solution was a base. At home, we would call it Drano. In the lab, we would call it sodium hydroxide. And a test for sugars is if you mix the three chemicals and you get a silver, usually a little bit of silver on the bottom of a beaker, you've proven that you've got a reducing sugar. But still, this to me is one of the more dramatic demos and is one of my favorite ones.